The following preview has been approved for appropriate audience. Motion pictures created by Bytes Crafter. Watching videos is advised. Visit our website for more videos. www.bytescrafter.weebly.com Welcome guys, my name is Caesar from Bytes Crafter. Today, I will make a tutorial about PHP MySQL database for Unity 3D. So, what is the purpose of a database? First, storage of user information such as username, password, email, etc. With this data stored in your own database online, you can use that value for the user to log in or authenticate. User can even register or insert group of data to your database. There are many possibilities, yet we'll talk about it later. Second, you can also store user or player progress such as levels, experience, achievements, leaderboards, and other player preps. Third, storage of attributes such as items, quest details, monster, or any profile, for example, the damage and the life, maximum life. Mm. And remember that your database can be updated on your preferred server, which will be synchronized to all the user or player generally. So, because this MySQL database is preferably hosted online. In short, with this tutorial, you can make your own database for every single player of your game. I know you're excited because I am too. Let's start. Let's begin by showing you some of my sample implementation of MySQL database. So, let's play Unity 3D. As you can see here at the right corner in the inspector, I have set uh, several uh, several uh, variable to customize my my server connection. For example, the database settings I I put there the server main name, username, password, database, and I made some uh, authentication code. And I call I call it as a, a key code. So we'll talk about this later. And the database as a link. So the less view, the get value, check value, set value, update value. The next is the list of content. And this is the holder of the contents to get the all the players. So uh, next is authentication field. The input fields of the username and password and the result <coughs> sorry so the next the last is registration field those in the input field of the username password gender etc so let's start so I made her a simple UI and animation so if I go here remember that this is uh, uh, getting information from online so if I refresh it will get all the user the rows on the web so in the web these are all the values so we have I made the username uneditable and the password as well so the uh, next is uh, email the first name last name gender and age so in MySQL, you can update the value for every row. For example, I made this uh, 2, Cesar 2, a Cesar the second. So, if I press update, it auto automatically update this uh, column from this specific username. So, if I update this, uh, you can see that it is currently synchronizing database and wait until result comes so as you can see the result said that it was a success so if i go back and user list and in if i refresh refresh it and the data is changed 
So that's it. So let's try to to log in with this specific account. So Psychos. Here in the authentication window, I made uh, my script, the script database, uh, more responsive uh, callback. For example, if I put only the username, it return uh, insufficient input. So you should type password as well uh, and vice versa. If you type password and without username, it will have a callback insufficient input. So uh, in my uh, Psychos account here, my password is one two three four five six seven. So let's go back. If I one two three four five six seven, if I log in, checking database. Sorry, my internet is a little bit slow. So it was a success. What if I enter a wrong password? One, just a one, two, three. Check in database. It should return incorrect. So what if I input a right password and a wrong username? So unknown. Uh, the MySQL cannot find the specific uh, username, which is. In real time, it is not available in the database. So, let's go to the re register window. Here in the registration window, you can see that I have uh, several inputs, user inputs. It includes the username, password, email, first name, last name, the gender, which is a drop down, UI, and an age. So, let's try to make an account. So just by type, by the way, just by typing the existed uh, username, the server can automatically detect that it is existed. So you can you can check it by typing the username and pressing the register button. So accessing the database, the username is existed. So so let's start a new username. For example, we use uh, we type Jade and the password uh, one two three four. Email is Jade at gmail dot com. And the first name is Eugene. Last name is De Castro. Uh, gender is a male. Uh, age is. For example, we have 31. So, if we check the database in my own server, this is my server, free server, the 000 web host. You can have it your database server uh, hosted on this website. Later on, we'll uh, talk about this. So, uh, we'll try to access the database and manage here is the database name user and the host so we'll try to manage our database as you can see i uploaded my own sql here and i created a table name called the user info which will store this uh, row of data the username password and etc so here is the current account so if I press register here and wait for the callback, it was a success. So here and at the web, if we refresh this, so the account is available online. So take note that this identity is automatically incremented according to the SQL. So let's try to log in. So what is the username? Jade. And the password is 1234. Let's try to log in if it's a success. So it was a success. So that's it.
that's the demo of this the first part of this PHP MySQL uh, tutorial this is the part one of my PHP MySQL database tutorial hope that you did see the possibilities see you on the next part thank you for watching and hope that you subscribe to my channel just click that subscribe button below and have a nice day thank you for watching if you like this video click subscribe more to come click here to play this video